In the last decade, the concept of the circular economy gained traction thanks to the work of organizations like the Alan MacArthur Foundation. A circular economy can be defined as an economic system that replaces the end-of-life concept of a product with the notion of reducing, reusing, whenever possible, recycling or recovering materials in the production, distribution and consumption processes with the aim of transitioning to a more sustainable society. But how can we make this possible in cities? And what is the role of local governments in this transition? All research tried to answer these questions. The European Green Deal considers the circular economy a key priority in the transition to climate neutrality. Cities play a major role in this. Why? Because they represent 80 to 85% of GDP, while only housing 55% of the global population. In terms of impact on the environment, cities consume 75% of global natural resources, are responsible for 60 to 80% of global greenhouse gas emissions, and produce 50% of global waste. With the notion of the circular economy come the concept of a circular city where local governments play a key role. The Belgian federal government has committed to becoming circular with a national action plan for 2024. Since all cities are different, we will survey both the Belgian municipalities that are implementing a circular economy and those that have not started yet. We'll use frameworks like the one proposed by the OECD to identify if local governments see their roles as enablers, facilitators, promoters or a combination of them. The objective is to get insights into the type of strategies that local governments could use to transition to a circular economy by identifying strategy clusters. The data will also be analyzed to see if the strategy clusters could be related to certain city characteristics. For example, a city with a high population density might prefer a different strategy than cities with a much lower density. The results will allow us to understand the different types of strategies. They will also help local governments that do not have a circular city strategy yet to position themselves. Furthermore, we will use the results in our future studies where we will see how management control can be used to successfully implement these strategies in local governments. If you're interested in working together on this research or want to know more about results, do not hesitate to contact us.